Hi, my name is Jack O'Hearn, and I'm going to tell you how to install an image or design on a chain link fence using fence tape. First thing I did was take a photograph of my fence and create a grid of diagonal lines over it. I then filled each square with color until I had my design, which I then repeated throughout the length of the fence. I used Adobe Photoshop, but it's pretty basic stuff, so you can use other programs or even draw it by hand using tracing paper. Alright, so uh, this is the uh, fence tape that I'm going to be using here. Um, I'm just going to show you how it's installed. Uh, typically, you would want to measure out the uh, length of your fence if, if you're just doing one color and cut all your pieces to size and then install them. Uh, but since I'm doing a design and I need a, uh, a lot of different sizes, um, it's better for me to just take it from the roll and cut it directly from the roll uh, as I go. And then I have the right size I need for each piece. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do here is just go for my starting point, which is the uh, beginning of my cloud shape here, and fold over. I get about an uh, inch or so overhang. I'm going to fold that over. I'm going to take my brass fastener here, which you can get at an office supply store if you need extra. They also um, come with the product, uh, the fence tape. And I'm just going to use that, and that will pierce right through the tape and then fold over the back like this. Um, so now I'll just take this down to where my mountain part of the design go about an inch or so over the point that I need and cut it there. Okay, then you just weave the tape through the chain link fence and fold over at the bottom and put your fastener in. And that's it. So the foreground imagery is going um, up to the left and the background uh, beige color is going up to the right. And that helps me keep track of where I'm, where I'm at, sort of the foreground and the background. I know if I'm working on the foreground, I need to go in one direction or if I'm working on the background, it needs to go in the opposite direction.